Hey guys, I found a clip of Mark McGuire talking hitting, and I want to dissect it a little bit and see if we can identify the secret ingredient and what you need to be doing to improve as hitters. I'm Jeff Rottmeyer, and I help fundamental hitters become strategic, strategic hitters become clutch, balancing them out to become a complete hitter. So it's all about you, the pitcher, and game day. So let's get into this Mark McGuire clip. The guy starts off the interview by asking Mark about the use of analytics making players move along their career faster. Here's his response. Now listen for the secret ingredient. Yes, it does, but it, it also puts in a lot of thoughts in their mind too. I mean, I think the analytics is is so much better for the pitchers today because you can see the result right away. You can make the result happen. Hitters, it's a little bit more difficult. You can have the analytics. You can have the numbers. You know how hard you're swinging. You know how you're hitting the ball. But it takes two to tango. You got to get a pitch to hit in order that for that number to reach that number. So. It's yes, the video is great, but the thing is that sort of worries me is with the knowledge that they're getting today, it might be a little bit too much more too much knowledge. You know, you have to think you have to make decisions on your by yourself. You can't have somebody make a decision for you or give you information. You get the information by what you see on the video. What did you catch? The analytics is part of the game and it's not going away. But what analytics should we be focusing on as hitters? It really depends on the time of the year. Off season, you can focus on all of your metrics and what you feel like you want to improve metric wise. You can also break down your previous season stats and figure out which situations and counts you want to improve upon, which pit type you want to improve upon, if you have access to all of that type of information. It's one thing to have the analytics and know what they are, and it's another thing to know how to use it against a pitcher in a real baseball game, and that's what Mark McGuire is talking about. Knowing the numbers but not understanding how to use it in a game leads to the overthinking. Now, as we get closer to the season, the analytics we want to focus on needs to be more about the pitchers that we are facing. And when we, when we study pitcher analytics, the main thing we want to understand is their pitches, their velocity, their movement, and the location. We're really just trying to get a good feel for their pitches. When you're doing that, you can now understand how you're going to approach them. Remember, game day is about the pitcher, and that's what he's talking about. At the end of the first clip, the video and your eyes will tell you what you need to know to develop a game plan for that pitcher. Your eyes and your mind and what you are seeing is where the decision-making process starts. It does not start with the analytics. We can fall into the trap of overthinking pictures as well and start guessing what you're going to try to do. But what we're really trying to use this information for as hitters is to eliminate pitches and location. All right, let's go back to the Mark McGuire clip. And you, that, that's the thing that I loved about the game. And that's why people always said, hey, why don't you smile? Why don't you? Because my mindset was so into the game and it was so into the pitcher when I was in the dugout on the on deck circle. I never took practice swings because my eyes were just mesmerized on that pitcher. And I was trying to figure out where his hand release was. Where's that little, where they, where's he throwing that ball out of that box? What did you catch? His entire focus on game day was on the pitcher. Through the entire game, no matter where he was, in the dugout, on deck, in the hole, he was focused on the pitcher and trying to identify that relief window and any cues that he was giving up, and then how that pitcher was using his pitches. If you become focused on the pitcher, your thoughts become more about him. You start seeing things you haven't noticed before. And that eventually becomes your strategic advantage. If you focus on you and what you are doing, there's a chance for your mind to start wandering and then the self-doubt and the insecurity starts creeping in and mentally screwing you up. Now that doesn't mean that we don't assess and get closure to what we just did. We do, but we need to get our mind back on the picture and see what he's doing and, and understand how we're going to approach him our next to bat based on what he is doing and the adjustment that he's making to our team. When guys said they cannot take their cage swing to the game, this is the main reason. 
they're too focused on self when the game is about the pitcher. You practice to automate decision making, to make it instinctive so that you can just show up in a game and overly focus on the pitcher and execute your game plan. This was a great interview. So let's go back to Mark McGuire. But the thing is, there's a, there's a happy medium between analytics in your own eyes and your own mind. You have to make a decision yourself. And I think the one little thing is, I think sometimes these young kids aren't told that you have to make the decision by yourself. You can't have somebody make it for you. And you have to put the time and the effort. What did you catch? Combining the analytics, pitcher analytics, again, for game day. The pitcher analytics that we need to understand as hitters is their pitches, their velocity, movement to a location. As we start understanding that and we start watching them, we can then start getting an understanding of and a feel for their tendency to the situation to count. Now, combining that information with what you're seeing is how you're going to put up a solid game plan that you feel confident about executing. But it needs to be something that you do yourself. You can't have someone tell you that this is what your approach is going to be and this is what you're going to swing at, this is what you're going to take. You need to have your own plan and your own decision. There is time and effort involved in watching video. Now, Driveline and Trad and among others have incredible video online on their pictures. It's wild. You can see their pictures, their velocity, movement to a location. You can see their metric. You can see what they're working on. It's crazy that they're putting their picture stuff out there like that, but it's great content, so that's cool. But for us as hitters, we need to be jumping all over that and using that to our advantage, especially if we're going to be facing one of their pitchers, especially for the very first time. All right, let's go back to the Mark McGuire clip. I was talking to somebody the other day. I was down visiting my son in, in Mesa, and I was talking to some hitting coaches with the Cubs. And I was saying to myself, if I had the analytics and the computers today when I was playing, oh, my God, forget it. I would pick everything off of you guys. And it's like that's the thing is, it's like I don't know if these young kids are being taught how to use the computer and how to use the analytics correctly. They're just told what these numbers mean. I want somebody to sit me down and go, listen, let's diagnose. Let's figure out, hey, when he gets to this position right here, when his hand turns right here, like I watch. I so what did you catch? At the end of the clip, when he talked about he would pick apart the data guide for what they have and the information that they have, the example that he used was to identify the relief point and the cues of the pitcher's pitches. See, he was using it to try to identify information on the pitcher. See, too many young hitters focus on themselves and what they want to do with their swing. And that's okay. It's cool. That's fine. But when we talk about game day and what we need to do to hit on game day, focusing and understanding what the pitcher is doing is how you're going to be able to play this game for a long time. So hopefully you're getting the drift here. The best hitters leave clues. They have a secret ingredient that most coaches do not discuss or talk about. As hitters, we need to become more strategic. All right, let's go back and listen to the more of Mark McGuire. But it's never going to go anywhere. I love it. I'll, I'll watch has uh, tendencies of these pitchers. I'll jump out of my chair when I'm watching games because I'm like, if I have the analytics and I have my eyes and my mind and I play today, I know I'm. So what did you catch? How do you guys watch? A baseball game. Do you watch it as a fan or as a student? See, Mark was just talking about when he watches game, he's watching for tendencies. And then when he sees it, he immediately gets excited as he would be able to develop a game plan for that pitcher. Now, he's one of the best hitters that's ever played, so it'd be, it's an instinctive thing for him to be able to watch a game and be able to see what guys are doing. But he was once young and had to learn how to do it too. But when you watch, when you talk to young hitters, most of them don't even like watching the game of baseball. They think it's boring. And it's only because they don't know what they're watching. They don't understand how to watch a baseball game. But if we taught them how to watch pitchers and to identify tendencies, they would probably jump out of their chair as well when they start to figure out the tendencies. And that's the exciting part of baseball, the matchup, when you know what the pitcher is going to do. 
It's hard not to get excited and instantly get a boost of confidence for your next at bat. All right, let's go back and continue to listen to Mark McGuire. The mindset and to separate yourself from everybody else is incredible. You, you listen to stories of Tiger Woods and Michael Jordan. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's just like the mindset is just crazy. And that's just one thing that I think is a separator. And, and that year, I knew my mindset was there. Um, it was just really about pacing yourself and, and getting the pitches to hit. This is one thing I don't think people talk about enough. I believe I walked at the time it was it was a National League, maybe major league record of 165 times. Mm -hmm. 165 times. Now, it's not it's not that easy to go up to the plate hitting, knowing the pitcher's going to throw you four balls. It's not that easy. It's really really hard to do right. that. You know. Um, and yeah, I struck out, but I walked a lot. So I basically it was a 50 50 thing. And, and so what did you catch? Mindset is huge. Mindset is a separator. Mindset is belief. What you believe, what is your belief about a certain event, which is all shaped by past experiences, which then shape how we think, which then shape the reality. So going through the process of changing your mindset is about changing the belief that you have about the past experiences and the events of the past experiences. It's about neutralizing it so that you don't get emotionally triggered. This, in turn, will change the story we're telling ourselves and therefore changing our belief pattern. So too many guys from my experience working with hitters over the last 17 years at all levels are, are in a, they're constantly comparing themselves to everyone else. And this leads them to convincing themselves if they're even capable of playing at the level that they're at. It's a tough mindset to be in. With these guys, we need to get them to what we call a compete and contribute mindset. Feeling like they're one of the guys. Feeling like they can play at the level that they're at. Once we get here, then we can start working on what Mark is talking about. It's about getting into this strategic advantage mindset where your preparation is all strategic based and it's based off the pitcher. All right, let's go back to Mark McGuire. As I took 15 to 20 minute little nap and meditated before every game and I visualized pretty much every pitch I was going to see prior to the game. Doesn't mean I'm going to get a hit, but you know what? I was mentally prepared and uh, ended up with 70 home runs. So what did you catch? These are the little things that we talk about, but very few teach how to do so. Taking naps, meditating, and visualizing all part of his at-bat, which allows him to mentally prepare for games. Pre-game naps can significantly improve alertness and performance, which improves reaction time. So taking short naps can relax the central nervous system prior to walking up to the battle zone of the matchup. Meditation is all about getting focused and being in the present moment. Visualization is about seeing pitches that he will see that night against that pitcher and how he will respond. Too many people think that visualization is about seeing the result, but visualization is about seeing the pitches that you will swing at and the pitches that you will take, which ultimately produce the outcome that you're looking for. But visualization is seeing the ball out of the hand and seeing it to the bat. That is what we are trying to visualize. So these are the secret ingredients that goes into being a great hitter. Too many times we are focused on the swing mechanic. And the swing is very important. Don't get me wrong. But when you cross that line and you get into the batter's box and, and enter that matchup against that pitcher, the only thing that matters is how you're going to approach that pitcher how you're going to stay present and how you're going to execute your game plan. So you do that by determining what they're going to do by watching them, by focusing on them. And you will be amazed if you stick to it, what you see and what you pick up that you can use to your advantage to have great at bats. When you start seeing things, you'll be amazed how confident you start feeling just from seeing something very small that nobody else sees. So, Thank you for tuning in. I will be breaking down videos like this each and every week, pointing out the secret ingredients. So subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that you will always be notified when a new video comes out.